Hey guys, this is Hang Vango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the beautiful Brooke Dayton here to lend me canvas, create this makeup look for you. I hope you like the look and give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumb up and share the video. And don't forget to follow Brooke and myself on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always use skincare first. The first product is Summer Friday Lip Balm. This lip balm I use many times. I really like them. It does have a little shine, as I mentioned in every video. So you can blot it off the shine before you apply lipstick. The next product I'm using is also from Summer Friday. It's their vitamin C and peptide eye cream. This is a really gorgeous eye cream to prep under makeup. You can wear it for day or night. You don't have to wear makeup with this, but just in case, they are great to prep under makeup. Always very gentle around the eye area. Brook skin a little on the drier side, so I'm going to use the Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. And I'm using some of the serum and a lot of moisturizer to prep the skin before makeup. The reason I do that, so the foundation go on so much smoother, the skin feel plump. And the best way, just really press the serum into the face and neck. The last product is from Dew. This is Instant Angel, the Lipid Rich Moisturizer. This is a very, very beautiful moisturizer for day and night. It is fantastic on the makeup. They have really amazing ingredients. I usually love more deeper moisturizer and then whatever I want to blot off after I can but when I'm prepping I like to use a lot of moisturizer give the face always a lot of love a little massage to wake the skin up. For foundation and concealer, I'm going to use the Synchro series from Sashado. This is their concealer. It's absolutely beautiful. They also have foundation as well, and it's really beautiful. But they have a new tinted moisturizer, and I'm going to use today. Brooke has really beautiful skin. A little dry, but I already treat with like hydrating serum, moisturizer. So now the tinted moisturizer, I'm just going to cover a little bit where the redness, but I leave the skin pretty fresh. I love all her freckles. I don't want to cover many of those. So that's why the new tinted moisturizer is a perfect foundation for her. I'm not going to use too much. You see that just a tiny little dot. And this is more a light coverage tinted moisturizer, not too heavy. And I use a kabuki brush and blend it out. The great thing about tinted moisturizer is sometimes it to take out the redness and the little shadow, but it doesn't mask in the face. So her freckles and everything else still shine through. 
I think this is a great foundation or tinted moisturizer for people who love to even their skin out without feeling wearing a lot of foundation. So you see that that's all I did and her skin just look so much more complete. You see that I just use a tiny bit and blend out and her skin look amazing. It just even out some of the shadow but without taking all her freckles away. And I think it's beautiful, just leave them all there. For the concealer, I use mainly under the eye area, around the nose and just around the mouth there. This is the medium buildable full coverage concealer. The more hydrating concealer is really beautiful. And then same concealer, I use just mainly this around the mouth area that I want to cover the most. The rest of them, I leave it pretty natural. I can even go back to the foundation brush and just blend it out. So it look way more seamless together. And I think that complete the foundation concealer. I think she looked just flawless and not too heavy. Brooke doesn't need any contour. I mean, she have amazing bone structure, but I always use a little something just to bring back all dimension on the face that I take away from the tinted moisturizing foundation. And I use in the bomb contour from the next Americs. And this is very, very beautiful, very natural, very sheer. So it's a perfect contour bomb for someone who want to get a little color or a little shading without feeling too much product on the face. And the best way, just use a kabuki brush like this and just give your face a little color or a little sculpt in. And the color, I find that they are more a mimic of the natural shadow. So it's not too warm and orange like a lot of the contour products. And I just do like this around the perimeter of the face, on the cheekbone area. I just did the same on the other side. Brooke told me she loved contour, so, but I still keep everything very soft and natural, not too heavy. And I think this would be a great product for someone like beginner who want to have some shading without looking like they have a lot of mask on the face. To set the face, I'm going to use some powder from Givenchy. The shade I'm using is number two. Under the eye area. This powder is very, very sheer. So you don't have to worry about feeling too cakey on the face at all. Close your eye. I'm going to use a bronzer from our class to touch up where I shade earlier from the contour. This just gives a little more warm to the face. This bronzer color is interesting. It's actually beautiful and natural looking on the skin. They come many different shades and this is the shade I chose and I think it's gorgeous. You see that it just helped you sculpt it and set where you contour earlier. Brooke has amazing eyebrow. I mean, she has like really nice Brooke Shield eyebrow. I love it. I'm not gonna change anything much. I'm just gonna enhance a little bit. You know, for me, I always like to play a little bit. So I'm going to use a brow marker from Stiller and I'm using a brow phrase from Anastasia Beverly Hill just to set the eyebrow. First, before I do eyebrow marker, I'm just gonna set the eyebrow. I use it to brush it up. So make sure the brow brush all the direction that you want. 
Some people want it to go this way. Some people like to brush it up. It's all personal preference. I like to brush it up and then I use the comb like this and then smooth it out a little bit. Something like that. And then because I don't want the eyebrow going down, so I just leave the eyebrow somewhat coming out this way. I'm doing the same on the other side. So eyebrow like this, you don't really have to do anything else. I mean, but I'm gonna use a brow marker. I'm just gonna enhance the outer part a little bit. So you just do a little bit brush up like this way. It's all personal preference again. You don't have to do anything. The reason I'm doing this, if you do a bit more deep than this area, it can look like it's lifted more. So I feather it up a little bit on the corner here. And then maybe one or two here, just fill it in a little bit. For eye, I'm going to use four products. The first product I'm use is, of course, eye primer. Second, I use this Neutrogena Cold Eyeliner. It's more like a taupey gray color. A MAC mascara. And this eyeshadow palette from La Bouge Rouge. I can never say it's right, but I'm using more of the cooler tone. This tone right here, and that's what I'm using. To start, I put some eye primer on first. In this one, I have a clean slate to apply my eyeshadow. Next, I'm using this shade right here, all over the crease area. And I know that this color is not quite much dramatic or different than her lid color, but that's all about makeup. You build a little bit at a time. This can be a beautiful color alone if you want just a natural eyeshadow look in just one color. And I think this is great to start an all over eyelid as a base. Next, I use the cold liner on the waterline area, the upper waterline. So this is where I'm gonna put in. And then on this side as well. You basically tight lining, yeah. You can use black if you like, but I, I want the eye not too, too dark. So I do the liner a little bit on the outer half of the eye. And then use the blending brush. I blend it out, outward and upward. Remember, this is a long wear pencil. Do one eye at a time. And you can see that I do only the outer half of the eye. This way, I'm gonna help it to be more lifted. So you blend it outward and upward. Remember, do one eye at a time. You don't want to do two eye at a time because it's gonna want to dry. You're gonna have a hard time to blend. Let's talk something about eye shape. So brook eye shape is more a rounded eye shape. If you like to keep exactly that, you can go the liner right here and blend it out. So it's gonna keep exactly like the shape that the way she is. If you want a bit more lifted. I recommend you do the liner out there and blend it out. Try to put too much deep dark color there because it's gonna make the eye look a bit round again. So that's why I do out the half of the eye to blend it out this way. And you see that it helps to lift it. What I would like to do as well, I'm gonna do a little bit on that corner there. And you can see that it helped this way, elongate this way as well. I'm doing the same on the other side. Next, you a flat brush like this with this dark color here. And the color, the deep here, almost to the liner. Close your eye. And I'm just basically help to set that a little bit. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just blend it out into the 
in the inner part. But I try to avoid put too much color there because I want to keep the eye very lifted. This is just a little bit like that. And it's just like gradation from light to dark. And just from two color, but because you blend it like that, it helps you to go from light to dark this way. And I'm blending this way, not that way. So you, the deepest part is going to be here, and it's go lighter and lighter. I'm using the same on the other side. Next, use the small blending brush early that you use. A little bit of deep color. And I'm just going to do a little bit along the lower lash line, connecting the dots. So basically, I do a little bit faded out from here. And then just connect into the feline shape that I did earlier with the liner. So you see it become something like that. You don't have to, but I thought it was an interesting shape. Not interesting shape, but it's more like I love how the eye look quite feline like this. And then I just blend it up. Next, go back to a big fluffy brush earlier and I just blend it out again. Look up for me. I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom here as well just to soften the edges, not too much. Look up again. Okay. What I'm gonna do next is the liner. Instead, I'm gonna do a lower waterline all around. I'm doing mainly from the outer part. From this part here, Just that only. So it's helped to really lift the eye. And you see that the shape really aligned that way. Close your eye again. I'm gonna deepen the area again. Look up for me. Close your eye again. Look up for me. I'm using this bone color here a little bit on the brow bone area. It's not going to make much of the difference, just going to be a little bit more lift in that brow bone. You can use a lighter color if you want to, but I try to do everything in the same palette. You know me, like I don't want you to do one eye look with many different palettes. I think that's, you don't really need it. You see that just a little bit right there. Brooke got really nervous with curling lashes, so I did it off camera. So you don't have to hear her screaming and all these kind of things. So we did off camera, I'm just kidding. But I did some curl lashes off camera. I always encourage you to do it because it helps to lift the eye up. And then I'm gonna do two coats of mascara of this beautiful mascara for the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. And I always do really from right from the root and wiggle it up. For blush, I'm going to use this blush color from M Cosmetic. They are quite beautiful. They look pinky, but it go really nice on. And this highlighter palette from Danessa Myris, I'm going to use this shade right here. For this blush, I use mainly on the high cheekbones. You can see the color is just beautiful. It gives a little sheen as well. On deeper skin tone, you can use this as a highlighter if you like. But I'm going to use another highlighter just to give extra glycerin. This is such a beautiful, like a beautiful color. For highlight, I'm using this shade right here. I have a palette from Vanessa 
a while ago and I just got a new one because it's, uh, it's all old so this white looks pretty brand new and this is beautiful highlight you can see it's given very nice sheen I'm giving it a little bit everywhere For lips, I'm going to use the two lips products from Makeup by Mario, the lip liner and the lip cream. When I would choose in a lip color, Brooke was telling me like, her lip doesn't have a lot of color, but they're not small. So I said to her, I said, I promise you, I'm not gonna underdraw your lips so you don't have to worry. <laughs> so I'm gonna slightly draw with the natural lip shape here. The lips color is a little lighter than the lip liner, but I think it's gonna look great just because I'm gonna draw the lip shape and I'm gonna blend it out. Then I do a lip cream on top. And Brooke, you see that her natural lip shape is really full. I'm just gonna follow the natural lip shape. So I draw something like that. The good thing about this lip liner from Makeup by Mario is that they have a built-in lip brush. So you can use that to soften the edge first before you apply lipstick. Or you can use your normal brush if you like to. Smile for me slightly. And you see that I just soften the edge just so it doesn't look too dark on the outer part. You see that I soften them first like this. And you a lip brush just to fill in smile for me a little bit. I purposely chose the lips a little lighter as I mentioned you earlier. I think this is nice together with the lighter lip and a tiny bit deeper lip liner. I think this lip color is beautiful with the whole look we're doing. To complete the look, I'm going to set the makeup with the setting spray from One Side Beauty. This is the matte setting spray. This is the final look, guys. I hope you like the look as much as we created them. Thank you, Brooke, so much for coming to the channel. And thank you, Dawson, for doing this beautiful hair. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Give the video a thumb up, share the video, give us a lot of love, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you for watching.